Hi there. Welcome back to our channel. Today's session is on TOGAF, Architecture Development Cycle. Please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the like button. And don't forget to share this video because we need your support to grow our channel. Let's get started with introduction to TOGAF. Then we will deep dive into each phase of ADM cycle and try to summarize the important activities of each phase. TOGAF is an architecture framework. TOGAF provides the methods and tools for assisting in the acceptance, production, use, and maintenance of an enterprise architecture. It is based on an iterative process model, supported by best practices and a reusable set of existing architecture assets. Now, let's focus on the TOGAF ADM cycle flow diagram. The term ADM stands for Architecture Development Method. The TOGAF ADM is the result of continuous contributions from a large number of architecture practitioners. It describes a method for developing and managing the life cycle of an enterprise architecture and forms the core of TOGAF. It integrates elements of TOGAF described in this presentation as well as other available architectural assets to meet the business and IT needs of an organization. Now, let's go through each ADM phase to understand the objective of each phase. The first phase is preliminary phase. In this phase, you prepare the organization for successful TOGAF architecture projects. Undertake the preparation and initiation activities required to create an architecture capability. That include the customization of TOGAF, selection of tools, and the definition of architecture principles. Now, let's look at phase A. That is architecture vision. In this phase, you set the scope, constraints, and expectations for a TOGAF project. Create the architecture vision. Identify stakeholders. Validate the business context and create the statement of architecture work. Obtain approvals. Now, let's talk about phase B, business architecture, phase C, information systems architectures, and phase D, technology architecture, together. Because they have similar activities. In these three phases, you will develop architectures in four domains that is, business, application, data, and technology. In each case, you develop the baseline and target architecture and analyze gaps. Now, let's look at phase E, that is opportunities and solutions. In this phase, you will perform initial implementation planning and the identification of delivery vehicles for the building blocks identified in the previous phases. Determine whether an incremental approach is required, and if so, then identify transition architectures. Now, let's look at phase F, that is migration planning. In this phase, you'll develop detailed implementation and migration plan that addresses how to move from the baseline to the target architecture. Now, let's look at phase G, that is implementation governance. In this phase, you provide architectural oversight for the implementation. Prepare and issue architecture contracts. Ensure that the implementation project comply to the architecture. Now, let's look at Phase H, Architecture Change Management. Phase H, provide continual monitoring and a change management process to ensure that the architecture responds to the needs of the enterprise and maximizes the business value. Now, let's talk about the last phase. That is, Requirements Management. This phase interacts with each phase of ADM cycle that we discussed so far. Requirements management phase ensure that every stage of a TOGAF project is based on and validates business requirements. Requirements are identified, stored, and fed into and out of the relevant ADM phases which dispose of, address, and prioritize requirements. Please do join us for next tutorial on architecture development method. Thank you for watching this video. Please do share your feedback and hit like button. Do visit our channel. For more such tutorial videos on COBOL, KIX, JCL, vSAM, IBM Mainframe, TOGAF, and Microsoft Azure.